I am Dr. Vivek Vich, Director for Liver Transplant at Fortis Group of Hospitals. I will tell you about the indications of liver transplant and when do we need liver transplant. There are many diseases in which liver transplant is required. They are broadly divided into two, three groups. The first group is called as chronic liver disease, which means that slow damage of liver over a period of years. It is commonly known as cirrhosis of the liver. Second group is acute liver failure. Acute liver failure is a syndrome in which liver is damaged suddenly and before damaging it was completely fine. The third indication group for liver transplant is liver cancers like HCC, hepatocellular cancers or neuroendocrine tumors. Now, these are the causes in adults. Although we have different causes in pediatric or children, uh, pediatric population, the most common cause in pediatric population seems to be biliary atresia, all the, although there are hundreds of causes for which we can do liver transplant in children also. Now, coming back to cirrhosis. Cirrhosis is a disease when the liver is slowly damaged over years. There are many causes of cirrhosis, but majority of causes, about 80 percent of causes are, can be grouped into four categories. One is alcohol related liver damage. It is known that if we drink more than 60 ml of alcohol every day for at least 10 years, the liver will be damaged. The second cause is hepatitis virus. Hepatitis B and C virus are called as chronic hepatitis viruses. They infect the liver and slowly and slowly damage the liver. All over the world, hepatitis C virus happens to be the most common reason for cirrhosis and most common reason for liver transplant. Third group is obesity and metabolic syndrome, which is coming out to be a very major cause these days because of fast foods, diets, obesity and lifestyle the fat gets deposited in the liver and slowly and slowly damages the liver. This is called as a non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which slowly and slowly over the period of 10 to 15 years damages the liver and then liver requires liver transplant. There are many other causes of <coughs> damage of the liver, but these three or four causes make the majority of causes for cirrhosis leading to liver transplantation. Now, coming to second group called as acute liver failure, in which the liver is suddenly damaged because of some inciting reason and before that liver was completely okay. Now, I want to tell you that acute liver failure is caused by the two common, the most common causes of acute liver failure are drug overdose and certain viral infections. Now, why viral infections are important in India? Because there are certain viral infections like hepatitis E virus and A virus, which are spread through dirty food, dirty water. We call it fecal oral route. And once they enter the body, they can suddenly damage the liver within few hours or days. This syndrome is called as the acute liver failure. Along with that, I want to tell you that hepatitis E virus specifically attacks the pregnant females and both the female, both the mother as well as the fetus are in danger of life once the hepatitis E attacks the pregnant female, it damages the liver and the fetus as well. Now, it tells us the importance of clean food, clean water and clean diet, especially in certain scenarios like pregnancy. The second most common reason for acute liver failure is drug overdose like paracetamol which is a very common drug if we take in excess then it can suddenly damage the liver. The third group I have told you is cancers of the liver like hepatocellular cancers of the liver or neuroendocrine tumors. Now initially it was thought that these cancers are not treatable but as this scientific advances happened we came to know that if we can catch these tumors at an early stage, then we can do transplant for these specifically these two kind of tumors and produce a very good outcome or result after liver transplant.